All right. So we're, we're part of the way there. We've got a few things kind of lined up for us. We're looking pretty good. But what we really want is we really want a way to get our normals to be recalculated in here. And again, part of the reason we want that, so if we add a camera and we add a light here, right, this is where it starts to get interesting. And then we render this whole kit and caboodle. All right, there we go. Well, gee. That's, that's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's flat, super flat. Hmm. All right, well, gee golly. That's useless. Totally useless to me. What do we do? Okay, well, let's look at how we start, might start to make that a little bit more interesting. We're gonna go ahead and borrow this whole thing. I'm gonna get rid of these other bits for a second. I'm gonna make a copy of all this. Let's move it on over here to our normals uh, base. We're gonna experiment with this just a little bit. Now, we're gonna do a few things here. We're gonna look at kind of a hack way to do this first. Our first step is just to kind of like cheat it. Um, and we're gonna pull apart why that doesn't work exactly the right way first. And then we'll come back and we'll actually uh, look at how we can recalculate normals the, the correct way. Okay. So to get started, one of the techniques we could start to think about is we could use a, uh, a normal map top in line here. Now, what we want to do with our normal map is we're going to actually go ahead and we're going to put our height map in the alpha channel. Now, that's going to do a whole lot of nothing here so far. That's OK, because part of what we got to do, remember, is in our first kind of pass at this, we use the red channel to describe um, our height displacement, and that's not what we, want, what we want to do now. Now it's our alpha channel that holds all the information about our height displacement. So first we should make that change. Okay. So that's, that's all right. That's pretty good. So far, so good. Now, you know, we've, we've got a, a weird situation here. We're going to have to do... Uh, a few calculations a couple times, maybe. So maybe what we want to do is we want to actually get rid of all this. We're going to use disp just to hold everything. We're going to use disp.a, right? So n times disp.a, and this, uh, oh, there we go, good. Ah, so this is no longer a float. We got to make this a vec4. There we go. All right. We should also, while we're at it, we're going to move that other scalar app, um, well, scalar operation here. So disk scale now it gets put in here. Okay. So far, so good. Of course, it's looking mostly like what we want it to be. But we've got another a tricksy thing to do here. So let's say that we want a, a vec3 that's our new normal and what if we did rgb from our displacement right so this normal map is something we might use if we we're making like a bump map for example so we could we might um and what we talked about in the workshop is we talked about using this really cheat way to get normals here into your um geometry and that's not a, this, you know, it's cheating and it's not quite right. We'll see why it's not quite right. Um, but we certainly could do that, right? We can use our uh, new P's here, new N is here. Great. Like, all right, Matt, that doesn't seem like anything's happening there. Well, let's, let's rotate this around a little bit and see if we can get some normals to show up. There we go. So if we turn down our period a good bit, we can start to see some of that show up, right? We can finally start to see a little bit of a wiggly. Now, part of the, the problem here, um, and it's hard to see, let's see if we can rotate this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, part of what we're gonna start to see is that our lighting is just not gonna behave the way that we think that it's, it should. 
Right, so our light's way out here in Z. Let's move it a little bit closer. And okay, well that looks right. Right and left looks right. But up down is kind of right, but not totally. Our lighting is just not really working the way that we would expect that it ought to. Um, and that's, you know, that's all right. That's a little bit confusing and a little bit weird. Um, and we could probably get away. I mean, you can kind of, you know, cheat your way to some interesting effects using this kind of technique because we still have a little bit of kind of lighting in there. And our normals are kind of in there, but not really. So what gives? Well, if we take a moment um, to kind of pull this apart, what we might find, and I'm going to, got a little cheat network here for us to kind of look at to see what's happening, is this is some of what we're kind of, uh, our, what we're doing, right? We've kind of taken our, our normal map, we've extracted the normals, we're going to apply the normals here. Um, and this down here is kind of the best kind of representation of how we've reoriented our normals. So we've added our normals back in, but remember they're all scaled, they're all in this normalized scale of zero to one, and they're not in alignment with our, um, with our original normal, right? Like real normal displacement needs to take into account the uh, original normal, and not only take into account the original normal, but they also the tangent of our surface. Um, which is like, if you're scratching your head, that's all right. There's a, a bunch of stuff on the internet to help us with this. Um, and so let's actually take a look, or we can take a look, that's what we're gonna do next, at how to do this the right way. Okay, so we've got our cheaty way to kind of sort this thing out. Um, we've got our hacked way that we've kind of made normals work, uh, sort of. Lighting is a little bit weird. That's it's not at all behaving the way that we think that it ought to, but okay, right? Oh gosh. But we could probably, you know, since all of this is a little bit arbitrary anyway, if you were in a pinch, you could cheat and you could use this as a way to get a nice soft set of normals. Okay. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at another way that we could actually um, use our normal map directly um, and in this case, we're going to actually uh, futz with our fragment shader a little bit. So hang on to your socks. We're going to take a look at another way we can use the same technique or similar technique uh, and take it one more step further.